have to look far to find people who never wanted the games they is rampant and if you don't you don't have to look far to find people who never wanted the games there in the first place what did he yell at you he said the Olympic games. oh I don't need translator for that yeah. and neither do Rio officials who despite various threats believe that 80,000 security personnel handed down all that rain in a short period of time and that left hundreds of drivers yesterday pretty much stuck some waiting as long as three hours just to get off the freeway this was uh, an event that was far beyond the design capacity of these pumps. That's how ADOT explains what happened here. There are four pumps underneath the freeway in this area that are supposed to pump water out of the roadway. Well, one was already down for maintenance and the other three all overheated. And when that happens, ADOT says they automatically shut down. in that area that left a total of three cars pumps had to be reset manually by ADOT employees and a fourth was undergoing maintenance. Pumps do uh, do need maintenance regardless of the time of year and the reason we knew it needed maintenance was we needed to we, we go in and routinely inspect them. Uh, to make sure things are working during mon monsoon season. There are 59 pumps located throughout the valley and each can drain a swimming pool in about three minutes. That's about 10,000 gallons every 60 seconds. As soon as water is detected on roadways, one pump will trigger and then the next as more water accumulates. Back in 2014, a similar situation for drivers on the I-10 and 43rd Avenue that left some cars floating. The agency said the pumps were successful yesterday in the Deck Park Tunnel and other locations across the valley. But ADOT stopped short of calling the flooding issue a problem. Well, I, I would argue with the word problem, but the, the challenge, one of the challenges that we have on I-17 is it's a low-lying freeway. It was designed, these, these underpasses were designed to maximize the developable land around these intersections. So that leaves us with uh, freeways that, that dip. Now, the agency spokesperson also said they plan to use yesterday's situation as a case study on how to improve the current infrastructure. And there's also a five year plan and also a couple million dollars designated to also upgrade what is currently in place here with ADOT's pumps. We're live in Phoenix. Charlie at City 12 News. Yeah, they won't call it a problem, but you got to wonder what the folks who were buried in it last night might For call. The road kind of looked like a river there, really dirty river. Today, a different picture now that all the water has receded. Well, now the aftermath. A break shop in Glendale still cleaning up the mess left behind from yesterday's storm. This photo shows the pit. This is it. Now, right now, Vector Control is finding the most mosquitoes out in the East Valley. That Today, workers were cleaning out their toolboxes, which also got soaked in all the equipment, trying to salvage anything that's still functional. They've got power, but the phone lines are still down. The shop's owner says they tried to use sandbags to keep all the water out, but in the end, it was no use. Too much. You couldn't even tell that there was a pit. It was just solid water. 28th Avenue. It was one of the hardest hit areas in last night's storm. Today we met with a homeowner who told us it only took about 10 minutes for his house to fill up with water. Mess. All right. Thank you, Donna. And that is not the only neighborhood suffering a flooding repeat. Last night's heavy rain turned Bethany Home Road into a river, and within minutes, homes were soaked. CBS 5's Jason Berry has that story. The fans, full blast. The shoes, waiting in the sun to dry. All as Leonard Begay takes a break from cleaning after every room of his home was flooded with rainwater. How long were you cleaning up for? A good, a good four hours. Until what, one o'clock in the morning? Yes. 
he and many others in the area of 19th Avenue and Indian School dealing with the aftermath of Tuesday's massive downpour. Three inches in this area in a short period of time, leaving water lines both in and out of Leonard's home, the flooding taking over the yards in the back and also the front. This was all like a... suspect has access to other cars. $50,000 now on the line. Nine shooting scenes. Seven people have died so far. The search absolutely intensifying tonight. Back to you. Yeah, more kids targeted. I can't get over that part. No, hey, thank you. Don't forget, we have a special section over on ABC15.com. It is devoted to the serial shooting case, including an interactive map so you can dive in deeper on this. Every case listed there. We're also right now following an investigation out of Sky Harbor after a bullet is found on the seat of a plane. Now, it happened at Terminal 4. A passenger found the 22 caliber bullet on the floor of the American Airlines plane. It was bound for Minneapolis. So the passengers have been removed from the plane. They've been rescreened and nothing else. Street issues or traffic signals or power outages. Yeah, I looked around my yard and I thought, okay, this is about three weekends worth of work. I know. when The I, cleanup. Well, I drove to your house last night to pick up my daughter because they were on a play date. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, like, and there Whoa. was debris like all the way down your street. It was pretty bad. We got hit pretty hard. More storms moving into the valley. Flash flood watches and warnings in effect still across the state. We even hang out in our off time. <laughs> Dave's true. here with a look at the radar and the rainfall totals. Dave. Yeah, we uh, do have storms out there again tonight. Not quite as intense. Isaac DeLeon back in May. When it happened, 26-year-old Hannah Park told police she shot him in self-defense. But as you can see, she's been arrested in that case. Park standing before a judge as she faces first-degree murder charges. Investigators tell us physical evidence did not match her story. At number two, a Walmart manager in Avondale has been fired after his arrest for allegedly forcing an underage employee to have sex with him. 34-year-old Cyrus Paul Bone is charged with sexual assault and sexual conduct with a minor. At number three, investigators have identified the pilot killed in a plane crash southwest. And flash flood uh, warnings uh, all... A lifetime warranty on your new heating and air conditioning. Disaster in Colorado. The EPA announcing a criminal investigation has been opened in the spill that eventually brought polluted water into Arizona and into the Colorado River system. And at number five, Banner Health admitting they've been the target of a cyber attack. And if you had dealings with the company in any way, you... Police say as many as six people were in that home at the time. They told police that two cars showed up. Several people armed with guns got out and started firing. One person hit and later died at the hospital. Police say one woman was assaulted. They did recover two guns from the scene and the investigation tonight continues. Developing new at five, police are looking into another shooting that's possibly tied to a string of serial shootings in the Phoenix area. This one happened back in early July. Nobody was injured. And this now makes nine shootings that they've tied to that shooter. Seven people have died. Mark Martinez joins us now with new information on this case. Mark. Yeah, Phoenix police investigators saying today they can confirm another incident is related to the serial street shooter. But luckily, as we reported, nobody in this case was injured. It happened in the evening hours of July 11th near the area of 32nd Street and Oak in Phoenix. We've marked it with that yellow there to show you where it is on the map. It's north of Sky Harbor and not too far from one of the previous shootings that was also linked to the serial street shooter. We're told the suspect shot at a car in this residential neighborhood. There were two people inside that car, a 21-year-old man and a four-year-old boy. Now, they were not hurt, 
But of course, it has shaken up a lot of people living in this area as they find out that this is now linked to the serial shooters. Here's the suspect of the sketch that was released by police. There is no real solid description. The sketch came about after two separate witnesses described this guy's appearance to police. We recently talked to the lead detectives on this case who urged everyone to stay aware of their surroundings. Don't stay out um, at night by yourselves. That seems to be one of his uh, criteria is people are alone. So uh, don't be outside alone. Track down the actual owner of the home. Again, the woman who was there was being evicted. That's how this all started. If I can find anyone before 6 o'clock, we'll let you know when we come on the air with wow. you then, Katie. All right, for sure, John. Thank you. Preparing for a what if, a big... Suspicious. Police definitely want to hear from you. You can call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. certified for your protection. Martinez, Fox 10 News. Thank you, Mark. Next at 5, the Arizona Humane... President Obama's liberal... Steve Elliott with ADOT says there are four pumps at the Indian School in I-17 location. One was down for repairs. And with three inches of rain in less than 30 minutes, the remaining... ...is a new pinnacle in his life and football career. Tyron Matthew on his new contract extension. That's coming your way in sports. School clothes can be so expensive. How about a back-to-school sale half off or better tomorrow? Don't miss the Ross Shoe event. System before it's time. At Patrick Riley, we warranty our repairs for life. Call 602-PATRICK today. Politicians.